This is gonna be an update for the AutoVox uh, DVR mirror. Um, I got a battery to replace on the inside. Uh, it's a 3.7 volt, um, 450 milliamp. Uh, similar battery that goes in like little remote control drones and stuff. Uh, I'll post the numbers and everything uh, in the description in the video. Um, the person who actually recommended I do this, they already did it and it worked for him, was a YouTube user DH Pundit. He replied to one of my other videos and we ended up exchanging emails. He went back and forth with uh, AutoVox and customer service because mine was past you know, whatever period they had, so they didn't really have anything to deal with me. Plus, they're from China, so it's kind of hard to get a hold of them, yada, yada, yada. But um, he sent me uh, the file for flashing the firmware on here again. Uh, I did that, and it helped with the freezing issue. Even though I'd already done it once, uh, I did it again in my freezing issue, but the internal battery always showed charging on the screen, if you remember uh, in one of the other videos and I showed you everything on the display. Um, but the date would always reset. You could flash the memory, set the date to today's date, shut the vehicle off, turn it back on, the date was already reset, so internal battery is bad. Um, so I figured I would document it since I kind of went start to finish here. Uh, taking it off isn't bad, you need your Allen wrench. You loosen the screw here like installing it. Take that off. Uh, when you undo your wire that goes up underneath the uh, roof area, there's actually a little nipple. Uh, this is the male end, but I used just a little punch here and you kind of press it in just enough and it lets you pull it out. But there is no real way to get this to come apart, so I'm just going to kind of wing it. Uh, was recommended to me from DH Pundit to start at the top, which makes sense because you'll see all along the edge here, there's a seam. Uh, start at the top and just get a little, I'm going to use just a teeny tiny little electronics flathead to start it, and I guess it pops open. Uh, do it on the top so that way any marks that it's going to leave, you know, you don't really notice yourself. Um, geez. I'll probably end up putting a video and fast forward doing this. Okay, it's fully separated. Hit down here. I don't know how well you could see everything. But you got your camera, your wires coming in, that you run to your battery, microphone, one chipset where your SD card goes. Looks like this is your chipset for the screen. I um, think he said the battery's under there. Uh, you probably don't need to do this, but just to be safe, I'm actually going to put on some rubber gloves doing it. It's in there. Could have put it in a little bit better of a spot, I think. Anyway. I guess this just will open here. Oh yeah, this battery looks like crap. Looks like it's bulging a little bit. We got it just glued in place. Uh, there's no label or anything on here, but... this one out of the way but you can see your positive and negative terminals where this is going to solder itself to well solder itself not gonna I'm just gonna cut this so it's out of my way and then not much of an electronics guy but I guess I'll do these one at a time. I'll start with the negative. 
this is high. Oh yeah, it's high. Should be able to my shaky ass hands here. Okay, I got the negative off. I already, th this battery came with a little fitting on it, but I trimmed it off. I'm actually going to cut these back because I don't need a whole lot of... Well, the battery's got juice in it. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that little spark. Put some of this solder in here. I hope I didn't just short the thing out by touching something I wasn't supposed to. Well, trying to solder that thing on was a pain. Uh, sparked a few times. I probably ruined my mirror, but I'm still going to keep going. Who knows? Uh, Should have done this in the first place. I'm just going to get some extra wire, solder that onto the circuit board first so I don't stand the chance of shorting the battery out and then solder the battery to this. And then also I think I can fit the battery up in there, no problem. But yeah, should have did that first. Don't make the mistake like I did. Well, I got the two wires soldered on there finally. It's uh. I think my biggest issue here is one, I don't have a lot of experience soldering, and two is the soldering iron thing I have sucks really bad. It's only getting hot enough, like one side and like not at the very tip. <laughs> so. It makes it very hard to like get in there too, not to mention that it's already tight to begin with. So. Okay, now these wires are definitely long enough. battery looks like it should fit over here no problem put some hot glue or something behind it yeah I think that's what I'll do I'm going to put heat shrink wrap so I can put it over the uh, solder when I get it there. It's the last solder I'm going to do, so I'm going to unplug the soldering iron. I'm going to put my battery in place. I'm going to unplug the hot glue gun because that's done.
doesn't really matter where this stuff goes. I'm gonna actually stick that in the hot glue to hold the wires in place. Okay. Now. Got a screw floating around. Piece of wire and screw. Might have screwed a wire in. Or, uh, or something. Okay. Whew. Damn it. Anyway, it's back together. So I'm going to go put it in, see what it does. And then if it's working, I'll do another video and show you it's holding the date. I just put it back in and it works. Turned on, flashed the firmware again, and reset the date and time. If you could read it there, it says 2016 129 and it's 1735 for the time. So I'll shut my truck off. Pull my key out. Cuts off power to it. There's no SD card in. So it will pop up with a message that says there's no SD card inserted, but all I'm curious to see is the date staying the same, and it is. So that's good, we'll see if it holds by tomorrow. I'll do one more check tomorrow. I'm about to turn on my truck. Uh from when I installed this yesterday. It's already almost lunchtime, so it's been sitting here for like 18 hours. It's still doing the lock issue, but the date's correct. You can't read it because my cell phone doesn't, but I held the date overnight. 